Hi, I'm Jennifer with Kentucky Agriculture and Environment in the Classroom. This is our Test Your Seed Sense lesson, which is part of our STEM Adventure program and also our Ag Literacy Network curriculum materials. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video to learn how we go about uh, using this resource to teach kids about a plant's life cycle and specifically the role that a seed plays in the plant's life cycle. So when the children walk up, first we want to ask them what is a seed? Can they describe what a seed is, what its purpose is, and the definition is it's a tiny plant embryo inside of a protective outer coating. And the seed is just waiting for the right conditions, uh, moisture, temperature, um, and then once it has that, it's going to start to germinate or to sprout, and then we have our plant beginning to grow. One thing that we can do to start this lesson out is to talk about the seed as a part of the plant's life cycle. So we have several cards here as part of an apple tree's life cycle, and you can have them put those in the correct order from a seed to a, um, to a sprout, sapling, young tree, mature tree and then the fruit with seeds and then you can talk about how that is a continuous cycle. We also have a soybeans life cycle and after you've done the apple tree which might be a little easier you can uh, start with the soybean plant start with the seed and go through that life cycle with the different cards. Once you've done that you can talk about different shapes of seeds. Uh, one of the things they like the kids to understand um, in elementary school is how seeds help um, help themselves to move their seeds along or another organism might help move the seeds along. Uh, whether it's by being more aerodynamic, you know, floating through the air as uh, the case with a dandelion, um, it might fall to the ground and then move with the water like a coconut or a palm tree, or it may attach itself to um, an animal's fur, um, like a cockleburr. So lots of different ways that seeds can disperse themselves, but then they're also different shapes and sizes depending on what plant they came from. So the fun part of this activity is we provide several seeds in these little baggies they are numbered and then this mat has pictures of different fruits and vegetables and flowers and their job is to match the seed up with the um, fruit or vegetable that it came from we do have a key to help you along and you can pick out some of the easier ones to start like the green beans sunflowers most kids know what a sunflower seed looks like and definitely the corn and the uh, pumpkin seeds are pretty easy. So you can start with those and then give each kid a few packets of seeds and see if they can find the correct um, fruit or vegetable that goes with it. You can give them some help if they need some hints. You know, with the celery, you can say, well, you eat this with peanut butter. Uh, you know, with carrots, rabbits like to eat them, even though you're not supposed to give rabbits a whole lot of carrots. Uh, but you can kind of give those clues to help them along. Then if you still have some time left, remember you only have five minutes through this lesson, but if you still have some time left, you can talk about what seeds look very similar. Uh, the broccoli and the cabbage seeds look almost identical, so you can talk about them being from the same species of plant. Just over time, they bred it for different characteristics. Uh, the pumpkin and the squash are you know, both part of the squash family. Cantaloupe and cucumbers are related, and you can have them compare the different seeds and what they look like. Um, so all of that information is on your instruction sheet. Like I said, as long as you're talking about what the seed's role is in the plant life cycle, how they move around, how they germinate, and then what different seeds look like, you'll be doing a great job. Thanks.